السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته. We will continue Surah Al-Baqarah Tafsir with a short and easy way to understand Quran Tafsir by a group of verses categorized in themes. Today we will continue this series from verses 87 through 93 of Surah Al-Baqarah. Bismillah ar-Rahman rahim Please watch the video on explaining this entire ring pattern of Surah Al-Baqarah in the summary video. Today we will continue our discussion on Bani Israel, the Jews in Medina, in this section from verses 87 through 93. First, let's start with noticing the connections between these verses. We see how Allah is first addressing Bani Israel of Medina. Then Allah addresses Bani Israel at the time of Musa alayhi salam. And then again, after some other verses, the topic returns in a ring pattern addressing Bani Israel of Medina again. So each time the key themes are similar and even identical words are repeated in this pattern. We will go deeper in detail into the repeated words, clear proofs, covenants, and disbelief mentioned in verses 87 through 88 then again it repeats in verses 92 through 93 and then again some verses later in verses 99 through 100. now let's talk about what are the clear proofs mentioned in verse 87 in verse 92 and also in verse 99. bunny israel were given clear proofs such as the miracles performed by Musa alayhi salam. We all know of the story of the staff that would transform into a snake or the sea parting and many other such miracles. We also know of the miraculous birth of Isa alayhi salam. See here in verse 87, Allah says, we gave Jesus, the son of Mary, clear proofs and supported him with the pure spirit referring to the angel Jibreel alayhi salam, who is also known as the Ruhul Qudus. But notice in verse 99, the clear proofs for our Prophet wasallam, are the verses of the Quran. As Allah says, we have certainly sent down to you verses which are clear proofs. So this verse shows that Quran is the ongoing proof for us Muslims. So we need to understand the Quran deeply so we can recognize this clear proof. We see similarity in the reaction of Bani Israel to books and prophets. Though generations passed between Prophet Musa alayhi salam and Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wasallam. In verse 88, the Jews of Medina would tell the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wasallam mockingly, our hearts are wrapped up in covers and cannot understand what you're saying. So we can compare this statement with that of Bani Israel of Musa in verse 93, where Allah says that their hearts had absorbed worship of the calf. We see how the hearts are involved in worship since love and faith is within the heart and they are connected. So these verses show the importance of the heart so we can use it to love our faith and love the Quran. Now let's talk about another important theme in these verses, which is to obey Allah's covenant. We see in verse 93 that Allah showed Bani Israel at the time of Musa alayhi salam the importance of keeping the covenant with Allah by actually raising the Mount Tur over their heads. So a miracle was shown to them so they would obey. But instead, they would mockingly say, we have heard and disobeyed. They had the guts to openly challenge their own prophet. And that is why these previous nations were punished heavily. And again in verse 100, Allah mentions how they would repeatedly throw away Allah's covenants or commandments behind their backs. We see from all these verses that the generations of Bani Israel had a history of rebelling against their prophets and even attempted to kill them, as mentioned in verse 87. 
So we learn from tafsir sources that they would attempt to kill some prophets such as Zakaria and Yahya alayhi salam. The killing attempt against Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wasallam is included in the tafsir explanation of verse 87. Some from Bani Israel attempted to poison him sallallahu alayhi wasallam. So the final prophet and the seal of the prophethood did not remain with the nation of Bani Israel. 